Well, the market's reaction to this news uh, illustrates just how important a connection a CEO can have to a company. On that note, I want to bring in a CIO of the Bonson Group, David Bonson. I, I will point out uh, there was one downgrade on, on McDonald's, but Easterbrook, I mean, he was hailed as a savior for McDonald's when he came in, and indeed, he turned that company around. And he's not the first one, David, to have done that. And these days, these CEOs become such celebrity figures themselves, it's hard to imagine these companies operating without them. Well, you're exactly right, Charles. There, there are certain stories that we've seen in corporate America play out where the company CEO has been an actual turnaround specialist. They've taken a company that was flawed in their business model, and they've not only improved in execution, but they've designed a strategy. And McDonald's is an incredible story here. A basically 100% gain in the stock price since he came in, building off of momentum, but also fixing the things that were really problematic. You need more CEO talent like that. And that's, I guess, one of the reasons it's particularly frustrating for us as McDonald's shareholders to see this kind of failure of judgment. Let's talk about uh, some of these other names, uh, particularly widely held stocks that our, our viewers may be in. Uh, if I say the name Cook, we know Apple. If I say Benioff, we know Salesforce.com, Bezos and Amazon, Nadella at Microsoft, Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan, Bob Iger at Disney, uh, and the list goes on and on. Elon Musk at Tesla. I mean, if, if Elon Musk was out tomorrow, how much would that stock get hit? A hundred bucks? A hundred dollars a share? Well, with Elon Musk, do you mean it would get hit uh, to the downside 100 or go yeah. up 100? I guess you can make an argument each way sometimes with, that, with that, Elon's erratic behavior. But he is a visionary. He's a genius. I don't take anything away from him. There's been questions, obviously, about his judgment and maturity in the last couple of years. But, but Charles, we saw Steve Jobs when he got ill at Apple and the effect it had on its stock price temporarily. And then even when Steve passed on, the replacement that was available through a talent like Tim Cook, and you know how Apple has flourished since then. So there are um, situations in which an irreplaceable CEO is, in fact, replaceable. But I would add something in that list of names that you pointed out, and it transcends just the mere value they bring to the company that they are CEO of. It is the leadership they play in our corporate economy. We are living in an era where capitalism is under attack, and for CEOs to not get out and defend their business, their industry, but also the entire ecosystem of free market capitalism is a problem. That's why Jamie Dimon at JP Morgan sticks out on that list. It's another company we own as a dividend grower at the Bonson Group. Jamie Dimon has been a wonderful evangelist for the cause of freedom and markets. Uh, Bob Iger, uh, the last couple of times Disney's reported uh, the, one of the things that moved the needle with the stock was him extending his contract. Uh, again, to your point, it's a hundred. It's a company that's going on a hundred years old. Uh, uh, they've had a lot of leadership there, uh, and, and but I guess the question is: Is it built in a way that, uh, despite the fact Wall Street may lament his, his leaving, that it will be okay for long-term investors to ride out that short-term wave? This is the responsibility of a board, which I would add are well-paid board of directors to have succession planning in place. When you have something, when there's a scandal, when you have a, a premature death, obviously board of directors can get caught a little off guard. But with something like a long-awaited, and in the case of Iger at Disney, multiple times delayed retirement, there is ample opportunity for them to have a proper succession plan in place. We've right. been invested in a lot of companies over the years that have handled succession very well well. There have been companies that have not handled it well, but when they don't handle it well, that is on the board. I got to let you go, David, uh, but I do want to know, because I've been asked a million times a day, is, is McDonald's to buy on this dip? Um, McDonald's is a hold on this dip if you already own it. If, as far as trying to get it at a screaming value, it's still trading 23 times forward earnings, even here in the high right. 180s. We're going to add more to it if it can come down in the 170s, Charles. David, thank you very much. Always appreciate your expertise, buddy.